In this video, we discuss basics of PLC and brief introduction to this PLC simulation software. In this software, we have different categories. Category A, B, C, D, E and F. And also we have different levels from level 1 to level 5. Level 5 includes very complex and advanced data logics. Level 1 have simple basic ladder logics. Now we go to main menu, click on main button here. In category A, we have three sections, introduction, applications and simulation trial. And go to category B. In category B, we have basic programming with simulation examples. If you see here, they are presented with one star, one star, one star and two stars. The number of stars represents the complexity of the logic or simulation. We have level 1 to level 5. That means we may have 1 star, 2 star, 3 star, up to 5 stars for a simulation. Go to category C. Category C have simulations based on timers and counters. Go to category D. Category D have level 1 and level 2 categories. You have traffic light, conveyor start stop, path sorting, etc. Go to category E. In category E, we have level 2 and level 3. Conveyor control, drilling, again part sizing, push button, part separation, etc. Go to last category, advanced challenge. In last category, we have complete high complexity or three star and above. These are all complex ladder logics. Automatic door operation, part distribution, sorting defective parts, forward reverse motion control, etc. Okay, go to category A. In category A, now we see this introduction. In this example, we see what are the normal sequence of events or operations involved in a door open and close example. For example, this car approaches the door, then the person has to manually open the door and again drive the car through the door and again manually close the door. See, this is an example of manual control. Everything is manual. Now, we can do this in automation using a basic PLC. See, this is another example using PLC. In this example, the PLC automatically operates 
the door opens the door whenever there is a car and closes the door after car passing through the door for this we need a plc and we need some sensors now we see step by step whenever the car reaches the door there is a in gate sensor this in gate sensor detects the car and gives signal to the plc so plc now identifies or understands that there is a car before the door then what plc has to do plc will send a signal like door open signal to the motor there will be a motor here when this motor rotates in forward direction the door will open again the motor rotates in reverse direction the door will close now the in gate sensor is detected means in gate sensor is signal is given to the plc so plc will open give the open command to the motor see plc send the door open command to the motor then the motor operated and door is opened but how do plc know that door is opened or not or door may stuck in between for this again we use two limit sensors for identifying the door position one sensor is upper limit sensor and second one is lower limit sensor upper limit sensor will be detected when the door is fully opened lower limit sensor will be detected when the door is fully closed now the door is fully opened so upper limit sensor sends signal to the plc now plc knows that door is fully open now the car passes through the door then there is another sensor which is out sensor this sensor will be activated whenever the car passes through the door crosses the door then the sensor sends signal to the plc what is the meaning of this the car is passed through the door now you can close the that so that plc can now close the door then what happens plc sends a door close signal to the motor that means again motor rotates in reverse direction so that the door will be closed so whenever the door is closed again lower limit sensor will be there again this sensor sends the signal to the plc which indicates that the door is fully closed now you can remove the command which command previously door open close command is there na it will be removed it is removed now the operation is completed now this operation will be repeated whenever there is a car in front of the door this is a simple example of a plc like this we use plc for different applications in industries to control the plant meet you in the next session